Hello students, I am Ekta. In this session, we will delve into the world of algebra, specifically focusing on linear equations in two variables. We will start by understanding the basics of linear equations in one variable and then gradually transition into exploring the concept of equations with two variables. Through examples and discussions. We will learn how to represent these equations in standard form and understand their significance in real life situations. By the end, you will have a clear grasp of what linear equations in two variables are and how they play a crucial role in problem solving and mathematics. So, let's embark on this journey of algebraic exploration with our presenter today. Let us see the learning objectives of linear equations in two variables. After this session, you will be able to Write the linear equation in two variables. Learn about the standard form of linear equations in two variables. Apply linear equation in real life scenarios. Keywords, variables, equation, expressions, procedure, polynomial, coordinates, unique solution. In earlier classes, we have learned about linear equation in one variable. Let us recall some points about the linear equation in one variable and then we will discuss about linear equation in two variables. Recall, the equations with expressions with one variable are called linear equation in one variable. When the equations has variables on both sides, then we will solve by adding or subtracting. The complex equation with one variable can be reduced to a simpler form. An algebraic equation is an equality involving variables. It says that the value of the expressions on one side of the equality sign is equal to the value of the expression on the other side. Like numbers, variables can also be transposed to the other side. 
Students, do you know how to write a linear equation in one variable? We can write a linear equation in one variable as x plus 5 is equal to 6, x plus root 5 is equal to 0, root 3p plus root 6 is equal to 0. Linear equation in one variable has unique solution that one and only one solution. The linear equation in one variable 7x plus 3 has the root minus 3 by 7. This can be represented on the number line as follows. Let us look into the methodology which we use to solve a linear equation. Procedure for solving an equation. The same number is added or subtracted on both sides of the equation. We multiply or divide both sides of the equation by the same non-zero number. Students, does the linear equation with two variables will have a solution? Is that unique or more than that? Suppose two students have written their exams and secured 540 marks together. Is it possible? to write this in the form of an equation. Here we only know the total marks, we don't know the marks of the first student or second student. Let us denote the marks of the first student as P and marks of the second student as Q. So, from the known information, we can write as P plus Q is equal to 540. Students, if you observe the equation carefully, we can see two variables in the equation and the power of the variables is linear. Thus, the linear equation in the two variables obtained is P plus Q is equal to 540. Let us see some more examples of linear equation in two variables. Examples S minus 3T is equal to 5. 1.5p plus 4.3q is equal to 24 and so on. Note, we say an equation is linear if the degree of the polynomial equation is 1. Let us see some examples on linear equation in two variables. Example, write the equation in the form of ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 and 3x plus 4y is equal to 5. 3x plus 4y is equal to 5 can be written as 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0. Where a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4, c is equal to minus 5. 7x minus 4 is equal to 5y. 7x minus 4 is equal to 5y can be written as 7x minus 5y minus 4 is equal to 0. Where a is equal to 7, b is equal to minus 5, 
c is equal to minus 4. 64 minus 3x is equal to 2y. 64 minus 3x is equal to 2y can be written as 3x plus 2y minus 64 is equal to 0 where a is equal to 3, b is equal to 2, c is equal to minus 64. Also this can be written as minus 3x minus 2y plus 64 is equal to 0 where a is equal to minus 3, b is equal to minus 2, c is equal to 64. We have learned about the standard form of the linear equation in two variables. We can also write the linear equation in one variable in the form of a linear equation in two variables. Suppose there is an equation of the form ax plus b is equal to 0. We can write this equation as ax plus 0y plus b is equal to 0. Let us see some examples of linear equation in one variable as the form of linear equation in two variables. Example, write each of the following equation in the form of linear equation in two variables. 3x is equal to minus 4. 3x is equal to minus 4 can be written as 3x plus 0y plus 4 is equal to 0. x is equal to 7. x is equal to 7 can be written as x plus 0y minus 7 is equal to 0. 4x is equal to 9. 4x is equal to 9 can be written as 4x plus 0y minus 9 is equal to 0. Let us see some real life example. The cost of a pen is twice the cost of pencil. Write the linear equation in two variables to represent this statement. Solution. Let cost of pen be x and cost of pencil be y. Cost of pen is equal to 2 into cost of pencil. x is equal to 2y. So, the equation that represent that the cost of pen is twice the cost of pencil is x is equal to 2y. Example 4. The age of Vinay is half the age of Dev. Write the linear equation in two variables to represent this statement. Solution. Let the age of Vinay be P and age of Dev is Q. Age of Vinay is equal to half into age of Dev. P is equal to half Q. 2P is equal to Q. So, the equation that represent that the age of Vinay is half the age of Dev is 2P is equal to Q. So, we have seen the linear equations their indication. We also learned about the two variables which we use and also how to write a linear equation in two variables. Now we will see the linear equation which we use in our daily life or real life. Real life examples the linear equation in two variables can be used in real life. Some situations are the distance travelled in a time, 
the amount of water leaking in a bucket in a time. The number of angles of a polygon equals to the number of sides of a polygon. Conversion of temperature from degree Celsius to Fahrenheit. Calculating the slope. Let us discuss the points that need to be summarized by the end of this session. Points to remember. A linear equation only has one or two variables. No variable in a linear equation is raised to a power greater than 1 or used as the denominator of a fraction. When you find pairs of values that make a linear equation true and plot those pairs on a coordinate grid, all the points lie on the same line. The graph of linear equation is a straight line. A linear equation in two variables can be defined as the relationship between two variables. In linear equation of two variables, the value of one variable is dependent on another variable. Suppose x and y are the variables in a linear equation in two variables and x is an independent variable, then y is a dependent variable. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.